today's video, as you can see by the title, is why I wouldn't buy a ZR1 now. The reason why, but look, from a Corvette's perspective, this is the best thing about it. I have a Z06, as you guys may know. I have a modification, a lot of modifications where my car is faster than a stock ZR1. If you modify a stock ZR1, then it's a whole different story. But my car fast, is faster than ZR1. The reason why I would never buy, I wouldn't buy a ZR1, I'm not saying, hey, I'm not saying it's not a badass car, I'm not saying I don't like the car. My problem is, is the price tag. Look, I'm just saying it gives you a lot of power, a lot of bang for your buck, but $140,000 for a Corvette, I just can't wrap my fingers around that. In the aspect of, the things that you can buy with $140,000 is an all-wheel drive, obviously, that all, only come in all-wheel drive, but a Nissan GTR. You can get a used Audi R8, a used Acura NSX, supercars in that matter. Me, I don't consider the ZR1, yeah, you can look at the track times or anything like that. You see a Corvette Z ZR1, I don't consider that a supercar. And I feel like for that price tag, you're, you're right on the fence of supercar. The performance is there, everything is there. I just can't, my, my, my thing to get over is the price tag. I can't justify 140 grand on a, on a, on a Corvette. I just can't. Don't get me wrong. I love my Z06. I love it. I have the big wing. I have a lot of power to it. I have a loud exhaust. It rips. It's so much fun to drive. But I would never pay that much money for this car. That kind of price point. Yeah, you could give me a, like, because you could just say, hey, look, the setup I have right now is technically a ZR1 with the performance modifications to it. Because I have a lot more horsepower than a ZR1 stock. But the my thing is, is why would I pay $140,000 on a Corvette that I don't, in the long run, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, is I really don't think it's going to hold its value. You know what I mean? I feel like with that kind of car, I feel like you have to, you need to get something that's a whole style. And my, uh, also, the thing with me is I don't think there's that much of a difference. Yeah, you can say the wing, you can say the front, but that's really much it. It's just another trim level, if you want to call it. Yeah, it gives you more power. It's just like with the Hellcat, the Demon, and all that. Like, you really, you see one on the road, you have to see the logo to see what car it is. It's not like I can see it from far away and be like, yo, that's a Lambo, that's a Huracan. You know what I mean? Or, oh, that's a, yo, that's a Ferrari. Like, you know what I mean? That's, oh, that's a four, that's a 458. You can't see the difference. And me, if I'm gonna spend $140,000 on a car, I want it to be separate from everything else than on the road. Because you pull up to a gas station, right? Let's just say, to the public eye, they can be like, oh, that's a Corvette, nice. And they be like, oh, you probably spent 70, 80 grand for it. Then I can be like, oh, you spent 140 grand. Granted, a lot of people don't buy cars for that purpose, but to me, I have that idea. Look, I drive, I drive my cars, I buy my cars for the driver field. But at the same time, I'm not gonna drop $140,000 on a car and be like, someone, I walk up to a spot and be like, oh, is that a Z06? Oh, is that a Stingray? Because I'm not going to lie, I got it with my Z06. They're like, oh, is that oh, a nice Stingray? Like, what? No offense to Stingray owners, but it's just like, there's, there's a difference. The Stingray owners would say the same thing. There's a difference between Stingrays. A Z06 is like Z06 and ZR1. There is a difference from stock to stock. I don't want to be known in the aspect of, hey, I want to separate myself from everybody. It's like you pull up to a car meet. Give me an example. I think people in there will understand that, hey, oh, that's a ZR1. But to them, they're going to be like, oh, it's a vet. Oh, it's just a Corvette. A Chevy. American. I love American muscle. Granted, after only a Z06, I fell in love with American muscle. I just love the sound, the pureness, the loudness you can hear. That loudness, that scream. Granted, I have modifications done, but it's just that scream. You can't get better than that. But for me, I can't, I can't, I would not be, if I had to do it all over again to buy a ZR1, would I? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I just can't pay $140,000 on a car that's a Chevy and that is $140,000 for a Corvette, man. These cars are getting out of the price points where it's just like, it was it was to a point where it's a bang for your buck, but now it's trying to get to another level and trying to compete with your Audi R8s, your GTRs, your your uh, 911s. Like, and I'm 
not talking about 911 turbos or GT uh, GT3 RS or GT2 RS, but it's just like they should have just stayed in that price bracket where they were, like that 80, 90 grand, 100 grand. I'll give it because then at the 100 grand mark, you have to decide between basically for performance aspect 911 GTR or uh, Corvette. My thing, guys. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I hope I'm probably gonna get lit up in the comments because I have a Corvette and they're like, oh, why won't you buy a, a ZR1? But that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion, but me, I can't I can't spend my money on that ZR1. It's a beautiful car. It is great. It's awesome. But I'm not going out of my way to buy it. Guys, thank you again for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Get the negativity out your life. More videos coming out soon making a lot of content my brothers gonna start making videos get the next video out your life hit them with that herd you peace i'm by the blackout we in the penthouse don't throw stones to the glass house especially with a glass mouth